What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to talk about the official PlayStation exclusive content. Now I'm not sure if you guys are aware but there is a unlisted video on the Destiny game YouTube channel which actually shows the actual exclusive content trailer which I'll show you guys on screen now. Now notice one thing about this video which I've never seen on any other Destiny video, especially Destiny official video anyway, and that is the like and dislike ratio. There's almost double the amount of dislikes than what there are likes on this video, and that tells you guys one thing, it tells me one thing, and that is people are clearly not happy with exclusive content. It is as simple as that. Now me personally, I'm an Xbox player, you guys know I am Xbox through and through. I've got a PlayStation, but I just do not play on it. When Destiny 2 comes out, I may play on my PlayStation 2. I'm definitely getting it on my PC come October 24th. But Xbox is going to be my main again. It's as simple as that. Because the exclusives ain't that great, in my opinion. You get a strike. You get a PvP map. You get a couple bits of armor. You get a ship. And you get an exotic weapon, which can switch its burn type. That's it. I mean, there's nothing there major for me. Like, all my friends are on Xbox. I don't really know anybody on PlayStation. So leaving all them friends behind for a few extra bits just isn't worth it to me. But if we go through the comments, you can clearly see people do not like this. Um, let's read this top comment here. No one likes this exclusivity Sony. Your customers would be just as happy, if not happier, to let all of the content be available to everyone. This is only building resentment amongst the player base, which is actually true. That is a true statement. Whoever that guy is, he deserves a thumbs up. There we go. What else we got here? This hurts everybody, including PlayStation players. These strikes and weapons will never show up as nightfall strikes or as uh, drops until they become available to all. Again... Thumbs up. Title exclusive content trailer. Description timed exclusive. F off. Uh, we'll ignore that. <laughs> so Bungie has not learned a thing. Truly they and Activision are a bunch of f and I hope their life work. <laughs> Damn, this dude's mean. This dude is mean. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna thumbs that up. Oh my, Bungie, is it really worth pissing off two thirds of your fan base for a few extra bucks? Especially because you're sticking with the weaker console. Imagine the stuff you could do with the Scorpio and PC. Definitely deserves a thumbs up. Now we've seen what the game looks like on PC with that 4K, um, 4K 60 frames per second gameplay that was uploaded day before yesterday, was it? If you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the video description. People, it looks absolutely incredible it's mind-blowing uh seeing that then seeing what it looks like on ps4 and xbox one it's just there's no comparison there really is not um this shit is so lame stop doing this it's a multi-platform game stop putting exclusives on one console over the other this only makes me hate sony even more now me personally i don't hate sony not for this i mean they're smart it's but it's all business at the end of the day. Sony are thinking with their wallets, there's no two which ways about it. Them paying Bungie extra money to get exclusivity earns them more money in return. There's no two which ways about it. But it's true. It seriously is true. Um, it does divide the community even more. Personally, in my opinion, the exclusives ain't that great. But yes, that's just my opinion. A lot of people don't see it that way. And I can kind of see where they're coming from. Now, if you have an opinion on this, let me know down below in that comment section. But the guy about how it would look and how it could be on Xbox Scorpio or the Xbox One X and PC, he, it's true, it really is. This game could look a shit ton better on the Xbox One X and the PC. But Luke Smith did confirm that it is locked at 30 frames per second on all consoles. Now that in my opinion is the only downside to the PlayStation exclusivity is because it looks weaker. It it don't perform as good as it can do on the better console being the Xbox One X when that comes out. I think it's in November. So yeah, that is kind of a little bit of a disappointment. If they allowed it to look as good as it actually could be, which would benefit Destiny as well. It would benefit Bungie just as much. I think it's all to do with PlayStation and Sony, not a lot. They, obviously, there's a contract somewhere where it must look just as good on PlayStation as what it would on Xbox. There's no two which ways about it. But we all know the Xbox One X will improve the game. It will improve load times. It will make the game 
look better although it won't be running in 60 frames per second which we all know it probably could do on the Xbox One X but it is what it is that's the only thing that really pisses me off about the PlayStation exclusivity nothing else I'm really fussed about to be honest with you guys um, a few weapons a few armors a map a strike same old same old with Destiny 1 didn't bother me at all now it does say that it's a time exclusive until fall I believe, let's have a look at the end of the trailer, it does say at the end somewhere right there, um, get rid of that, time exclusive content, that just disappeared off the screen, and it just disappeared off the screen again, can piece of time exclusive content until at least fall 2018, more details to come this summer, so yeah, I mean next year, Xbox users may get this strike PvP map and exotic by the time next year comes though how many DLCs will have come out with more exclusive content for PS4 that's what you gotta ask yourselves but yes guys it is what it is let me know what you think about this down below in that comments section are you happy as a PlayStation player that you get exclusive content are you mad as an Xbox player that PlayStation players get exclusive content? Me personally, I ain't forced. Let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always people and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.